So I decided I'm going to walk you through the field of daffodils. At one end is this plantation that I've just done this year of oak trees, gilder rose, rowans and spindle and a few cherries. So this is full of different kinds of trees to feed the wildlife and look beautiful as well. But then this is the field of daffodils. This field of daffodils was planted by my grandparents and there's many different kinds of ones. There's these beautiful ones here. Then you get these ones with the flaming trumpet. So we have loads of those all the way through here. Oh, and then there's these ones over here that are like scrambled eggs. You see these are like scrambled eggs here. And then beautiful white ones. Look at this beautiful white trumpet. So the daffodils here were planted by my grandparents before there were Dutch flower merchants monopolizing the market for flowers. So they would pick these and sell them at country markets and to shops and things like that. These are some of the early ones. These are the first ones to finish. Kind of a yellow trumpet and a pale petal. So these are, this is a beautiful one here. Look at this one. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? With its little flame around the edge of the trumpet. So there's a pop of purple throughout. These are from crocus seeds that I th collected and threw across the field. And there's loads of them up in another area. But here you can see these are the, this is the walnut tree that I collected walnuts from about three years ago and planted. And I planted the walnut babies in another location. Here we go into more daffodils. Gorgeous, gorgeous, loads and loads of daffodils. That tree there is a big lime tree. This is a sweet daffodil here. This smells heavenly. It's only just coming out. It's one of those multi trumpets. So loads of daffodils walking through here. Here are some more white trumpets. They really are glorious, these white trumpets. They're really, really beautiful. And then celandine is coming up. You can see there's some celandine, more celandine. This is another lovely different trumpet. I, I, this is a very pretty one. I love this one. I love so many of them. I mean, it's hard to say what your favorite is because there's so many different ones. The pheasant eye, which is one of the last ones to bloom, is a lovely one. I love the pheasant eye um, daffodil. Here's another beautiful one with the yellow trumpet and spindly small petals. So you can see the roll of the hill goes down into the valley and more daffodils. Here's a mixture of the white ones and these yellowy ones. So loads and loads of daffodils. You can see them all down the side of this hill. And this hill is covered, the celandine is all coming out. And underneath the lime tree, here is bluebells. These leaves here, this is a daffodil, but this is a late flowering daffodil, but these are all bluebells here. So all of all this sweep here is bluebells that will all come out later. So there's more daffodils. You can see they started off at one stage, they had rows of daffodils and that was when they were separating them out um, for planting. 
You can kind of see the rows. So this weeping willow I planted, or we planted about 15, 16 years ago. I can't remember. And there on the other side of the fence from the daffodils, you can see the sheep. So loads and loads of daffodils and different kinds. There's some of them, there's nothing's coming up because they're a later daffodil. So their daffodils there will bloom later. So these are the earlier ones. The real earlies are these ones. These are the first ones to bloom. So you can already see they're fading and looking rather battered. So the later daffodils are beginning to come out. Here's another beautiful one. Here's another one. Look at that face. They're so beautiful. So spring. See, these are later ones, and they're just they're, they haven't even they'll be blooming next week sometime. This is when a daffodil is like this, it's called a pencil. That's a pencil. And when you buy daffodils in shops, they're picked at this stage, at the pencil stage. So, that is the field of daffodils that my grandparents planted and um, grew to pick and sell as bunches of flowers at country markets and shops. And now we just grow them on. Oh, this is a lovely one here. Let me come up here to this one. These, there's a, several different ones here that are lovely. Look at this one. This is a real scrambled eggs looking one. And then this one, it's like, it's an explosion inside. And then more of them. So there you can see this, these ones are later bloomers. They're in the pencil stage. And there are the sheep on the other side of the field. Fence, rather not field. Relaxing after their evening meal. Saying, I want to lie down. <laughs> oh, look at the siblings lying down together. Their evening meal. So these are the daffodils.